Hi, this is Hari Krishna. So, I am here to take some discussion on Core Java. Okay, in this particular session, we are going to discuss one of the Core Java topic, null and null pointer exception. So, it is one of the very important topic and uh, especially from project's point of it is very, very important. As a student, you no need to worry about null and null pointer uh, exception because you do not develop much programming. But in company, if any of your brother or sister or friends are there in working in company, they, they you just ask them about null and null pointer, they will tell you stories. Daily they are crying with these concepts. So, definitely in the project's execution point of view, you are going to see, I mean uh, the developers go, going to see null pointer exception, especially uh, supporting team, uh, issues fixing team, they are going to see these exceptions more. So, from projects development point of view, this topic is very, very important. So, it is become very important for student also from interview point of view and also from OCJP exam point of view. In your written test, compulsory one or two questions you can expect from this topic. So, I can give you a small clue for you where you will get this problem. Whenever you are accessing a object, whenever you are accessing an object, either array object or class object, wherever you use a dot or wherever you use a square bracket, there is a chance you will get null pointer exception. I do not say definitely you will get, there is a chance you will get null pointer exception. So, if you want to thoroughly understand null pointer exception and its related cases, first you should have a proper idea on null. So, null creating null pointer exception. So, first let us try to get full fledged knowledge on null, ok, right. So, come to the point. So, on null I want to discuss about uh, 5 points first. Once you have a good knowledge on these 5 points, then understanding next points are very, very easy. So, first point let us see what is null following by what is type of null and then following by how can we assign specific type to null and why should we assign type to null without assigning type if I use null what will be the problem and operations performed using null. Yes, now try to observe in this session I am not only teaching you uh, what about uh, null, I am going to concentrate on null related interview questions coming in written test coming in technical round, coming in project manager round and also you are going to face the problems with null in projects. So, in all levels if you want to get good knowledge, you should have a good knowledge on these 5 points, ok. So, let us start working on these points, are you ready? Right. So, I hope you are ready, right, ah, come on. So, first point let us see what is null, give your idea what is null. Let me give some options, ok. I want to take your uh, choice, ok. Wonderful option you will choose, try to observe. What is null, ok. Question is what is null and uh, you will get uh, some options in the interview room. First option, null is a class. Second option, null is a object. Third option, null is a keyword and uh, fourth option, null is a literal. So, these are the four options you have, what is null, if you got in exam, what is null, what you choose, try, try to choose you first, I will tell you later. So, majority of the people might have chosen, you people might have chosen, null is a keyword, it is wrong, null is not a keyword, null is a literal, ok. So, null is not a class, null is not a object, null is not a keyword, null is a literal. Yes, null is looking like a keyword, uh, it is actually reserved word. It is reserved in Java language, not using by programmers, it is only used by uh, language point of view. So, what is a null? Null cannot comes under keyword category, null is comes under literal category. So, can you please try to answer what is null? Null is a literal. So, now let us try to go through some uh, small small topic about literal, you know already. So, now tell me here I am writing something called 10 and I am writing something called 10.0, I am writing something called single quote A and I am writing double quotes HK and uh, I am writing of course your favorite or true and also I am writing current topic null. What all these are? All these are literals, ok. All these are literals and then if you say literal, a literal should have a type of a literal should have type. What is the type of the literal? Tell me, 
10 is a literal nothing but a value null is a literal nothing but a value of what type uh, 10 is of type int 10.0 is of type float no it is not a float that is maths in java it is a double so 10 is of type in 10.0 is of type double single quote a char double quotes hk is java dot lang dot string and true is a boolean then come to our current topic what is a null null is a literal then now tell me what is a type of the null null type is any referenced type null type is any referenced type any referenced type ha huh, tell me what the meaning of any referenced type in Java, data types topic you might have seen, there are two types of data types, primitive data types and reference types. There are totally five reference types are there. Number one, array. Number two, class. And number three, interface. Number four, enum. And number five, annotation. Annotation. Now, null can be any of these five types. So, final point I wanted to understand, uh, null is a literal of any of these five referenced types. So, we have covered two points, what is a null and what is the type of null. Null is a literal, it is of any type of referenced type, any of these five referenced types. Okay, first point I hope is clear to you, right. Now, I am going to discuss about next story, okay. Now, Try to observe, <coughs> I wanted to write a small, small uh, statements here. If you want to use any value or variable in the program, compulsory should have type, specific type it should have. Now, I am writing the value 10 here, then compiler will know it as of a int type. If I write 10.0, compiler will know it is of type double. Now, if I write null, then compiler will treat it as not a specific type. It is of any referenced type. It is of any referenced type. If it is of any referenced type, you cannot use in the program. If you try to use null directly, you will get a compile time error. Compiler will throw error. Babu, null type is what type? Without assigning a type, how can you access? So, now for example, simple program let me write. If you write system.out.println10, no problem, you will get value 10 as a output on the console. Compiler will not throw error, JB will not throw error, we will get output 10. If you write system.out.println 10.0, now you will get output 10.0 as output. No compile time error, no runtime error. So, like this, if you write system.out.println double quotes HK also, no compile time error, no runtime error, you will get output as hk because double quote hk is of what type uh, java dot lang dot type specific type is that now if i write system dot out dot print ln null this line compiler will throw error reference to reference to null okay null is matched with the uh, reference to print ln of a string and a print ln of some string buffer reference to null is ambiguous error. So, here simply I can say it leads to compile time error, the compile time error is ambiguous error. Why you are getting compile time error? Because null does not have any specific type, it is of any referenced type. What type it has to take, compiler does not understand, so it is throwing error. So, if you want to use null in the program, either for displaying or further performing any operation, first of all, you have to specify type, okay. So, that is what, oh, how can we assign specific type to null? If you want to use null, compulsory you have to specify some type, okay. So, now, let us recollect once again all the points. Point number one, null is a uh, a literal of any referenced type, it does not have any specific type. If you want to use null either for displaying or for storing on anything, first of all you have to perform, as, uh, what you call it, first of all you have to provide type to null, okay. Now, let us try to see next topic, how can we assign a specific type to okay. null. There are two options are there to assign type to null. First option with variable assignment okay to assign to variable to assign to a variable and second option using cast operator 
okay there are two options are there to assign to a variable and using cast operator okay right so first let us try to understand how to assign to a variable please try to think here i am writing just a null semicolon what is the type of null any type any reference type there is no type to null any reference type then now my target is assign type to null to assign type to null uh, now you have to follow first approach assign to a variable now i am taking string type variable string s1 equal to null i have written it's compiled fine because null type is any reference type s1 is of type string it is a class reference next i am writing now integer i1 equal to i am writing null uh, tell me i1 is null is of type uh, any reference type uh, i1 variable type is integer it is a class any reference type it is also compiled fine now let me take one array int array ia equal to null no problem compile and execute it so this is option number one assigning type to null by using variable assignment then next uh, i am going to write uh, next statement right observe here uh, i just wanted to write null how can i assign using cast operator instead of variable storing you can also write like this null is uh, converted to what type string and uh, next uh, i am writing here integer of uh, null uh, now here null type is converted to again integer now you can also convert to int array of what null so here uh, second approach i have followed to assign type to null so there are two ways we can assign type to null number one variable assignment number two with a cast operator okay why should i type to null just i told in the previous one if without assigning type to null just directly null we cannot use in the program if you try to use will get compile time error uh, now look at here this are all no compile time error let me try to take previous example i am writing system dot out dot print ln null uh, now please recall it compile or not compile not compile we got compile time error ambiguous error because null it doesn't have any specific type and we got here ambiguous error now here let me write a system dot out dot print ln uh, now i am writing with cast operator bracket string of null bracket string of null no compile time error now so if you want to use null in the program compulsory you must uh, uh, what you call uh, assign type to null null now type is what string and null passing as a string type to print ln no compile time error so here we will get output what uh, null sop and display output null no confusion to compiler no confusion to jvm okay can you tell me i want to display null as of integer type what you write very simple system dot out dot print ln in the bracket you write integer and then you write next what null no compile time error and we'll get output what null same way you can also convert its type to what int array int square bracket of course you can assign null no compile time error and we'll get output null so this is the point we have to understand this is compulsory coming one of the important written test question if you pass null as a argument directly it leads to compile time error if you want to display null compulsory must pass via cast operator or via variable what is the meaning of via variable you write already written string s1 equal to null you write here s1 and then sopln what you write i1 SOPL and you write uh, IA. So now no compile time error in these three lines and we will get output uh, null and you will get output uh, null and here also you will get output null. No compile time error, no runtime error. So finally, I wanted to recollect three points. Point number one, what is null? A null is a referenced data type literal. It does not have any specific type, it is of any type and uh, without assigning type to null you cannot use it directly if you try to use there is a chance you will get compile time error and uh, some cases you don't get compile time error some cases we will get what is the case what is the not case we are going to discuss that point also okay so 
better you try to use null with type so that always you don't get compile time error in exam if you see null directly there is a chance you will get a compile time error ambiguous error that point you have to remember and then next how can we assign a specific type to null to avoid this compile time error for that you must use two options assign uh, assign a null to a variable now string s1 i1 i a1 and next use a cast operator and then use a before null you write whatever the type you want to convert it will work okay then here i wanted to prove one point what is that very simple i am telling null is of any reference type it does not have any specific type for the small proof point i wanted to show here you run this statement in your com in your system definitely compiler will throw wonderful error int i1 equal to null you write and also you write something uh, int uh, int i2 equal to double quotes hk you write then you see what is the compile time errors you will get here and here this is also compile time error it is also compile time error what is the compile time error you will get try to test in your system and give your comment okay it is assignment to you from this discussion so in the next session we are going to discuss operations performed by using null while performing nu using null we will get null pointer exception and how to solve the null pointer exception we will see in next session thank you